please do subscribe the youtube channel wikinot foundation and click the bell icon to receive notifications of new uploaded videos hello friends it's sujit wag you are watching wikinot channel today in this video lecture we are going to explore about the difference between two microcontrollers 8051 microcontroller and the second one is pic 18f triple x microcontroller so with me i am having these two systems first is 8051 system and the another one is pic 18f 4520 microcontroller system so let's start So first of all, before comparison, I would like to share you about the CPU of 8051 and the PIC18F. So see here, it, has, it is a 8-bit CPU and in case of PIC18 also, it is a 8-bit CPU. The controller 8051 is also 40 pins and the controller PIC18 is also 40 pins. So both are 40 pins. So that is the similarity. Now we'll go with the comparison points. So in the comparison, 8051 has four ports, P0, P1, P2, and P3. P0, P1, P2, and P3. While your PIC18F has five ports. The name of the ports are port A, B, C, D, and E. So port A, port B, then we are having port C, port D, and port E. If you compare about the on-chip RAM of the 8051 microcontroller, it has 256 bytes of on-chip RAM, while PIC18 has 2 kilobytes of on-chip RAM. On-chip programmable ROM for 8051 microcontroller is 4 kilobytes, while in PIC18 it's up till 2 megabytes. The memory architecture which is used is Harvard here, and in case of PIC18 it's also Harvard. But the instruction set architecture which is used by 8051 microcontroller is CISC architecture that is complex instruction set computer and in case of PIC18 it is reduced instruction set computer. The sources of interrupt are 6 here while in case of PIC18 we are having 21 interrupt sources with the priorities also. In case of 8051 microcontroller, as it uses the Harvard memory architecture, that means program memory and the data memory are the separate and separate address bus and data bus are used. Address bus width is 16 bits, here data bus width is 8 bits. In case of peak microcontroller, there is twist. Here, as it is using Harvard architecture, address bus and data bus width are different. 12 bit are used for the RAM, 21 bit address bus is for the programmable ROM. So that's why you can see if you simply want to remember this 12 bits, so 2 raised to 12 will give rise to 2 kilobytes of internal RAM and 2 raised to 21 bit will give rise to 2 megabytes of internal programmable ROM that can be accessible. This is the maximum memory that can be accessed by PIC18 microcontroller. Now we'll look at the data bus. So data bus is 8 bit for the data RAM and 16 bit at data bus for the program ROM. It has UART circuitry, universal asynchronous receiver transmitter circuitry for serial communication of the data and it has TXD and RXD line. Similarly, in PIC 18F we are having universal synchronous asynchronous receiver transmitter circuitry. Crystal frequency up till maximum frequency is 12 megahertz while in case of P18 its maximum frequency is up till 40 megahertz. Now if you go for the additional features of P18F microcontroller as it has the synchronous port also then that is not available in 8051 microcontroller. So additional features of P18F as compared to the 8051 microcontroller. These are the different models which are present in the peak microcontroller. It has the inbuilt ADC, no need to interface, external ADC, 10 bit internal ADC, so it will convert the input data into the 10 bit digital output. It has the PWM module called as capture compare PWM module and enhanced capture compare PWM module. As it has synchronous port, this is also called as master synchronous serial port and it has SPI and I2C I2C interface under it. So if you want to go for the 8051 or P18 
peak microcontroller then my suggestion will be go with the peak microcontroller for the software development tools 8051 microcontroller you have to depend upon the software such as MID 51 and for in case of peak microcontroller you have to deal with the microchips MP lab IDA because peak microcontroller is manufactured by a microchip and they have provided the software MP lab IDA so you have to go with this software only for 8051 microcontroller you have to program in the assembly language while in case of peak microcontroller you have to program the microcontroller in embedded C language so that's it I think this information will be very useful for you thanks for watching this video stay tuned for more such videos please like and share this video with your friends also refer my website wikinote.org follow us on our facebook page wikinote foundation the links for the same are provided in the description box below